delicious little dragons. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to just be filming hopefully a just quick little video challenge and it's the do I have that book challenge which I got the idea from two youtubers called A Clockwork Reader and Jesse the Reader and they got the idea for some from other booktubers so I just thought it sounded like fun and I want to do it. So let's get started. All right, question number one. Do you have a book with deckled edges? So I do, I should have one. Okay, haha, <laughs> deckled edges. This is technically a devotional book. It's John 90 Days with the Beloved Disciple by Beth Moore, but it has these beautiful deckled edges. I love deckled edges. I know I have some other ones, hold on. Um, oh, is that deckled? That's just old. No, that's deckled. This is one of my like, older books like antique -y, but it does have deckled edges and it is a farewell to arms by ernest hemingway oh my gosh i shut the book and dust came up i need to dust my bookshelves okay yeah so those are two that was easy number two book with three people on the cover uh i'm, I'm sure i have one it's two. Oh, that one might have three nope that has more than three that just has dragons why do i only have books with like one or like a million people on the covers Oh, how about Elantris? Hold on. That's three main characters. No! Dang it! It has three main characters, and it only has two of them on the cover. Gosh darn it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. No! Why is that two? Wait, 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 wait. Prisoner of Azkaban technically has three on the cover because there's Sirius's shadow in the corner. I'm counting it. Ha! Number three, book based on another fictional story. So I have plenty of these because I love fairy tale retellings and so fairy tale retellings would count. So I'm just going to pull out a couple. So the first two I'm gonna grab are both by Gail Carson Levine, who's one of my absolute favorites. So Fairest is based off of Snow White. This is one of my all-time favorites. Keep an eye out for, I will almost certainly do a book look for both this one and Ella Enchanted. Love, 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 love them. And Ella Enchanted is based off of Cinderella. My chair is creepy and it's bothering me. Okay. I'm just like crouching on my, that might be, not be tall enough. Hold on. This is probably okay. Hopefully. Number four. Do you have a title that is 10 letters long? I should. Uh, oh. Ha ha ha. Wait. 10. Kenilworth by Sir Walter Scott. Ha. That didn't take as long as I feared. I'm happy with that. Number five. A book that starts with the same letter it ends with. Like, a lot of it is T because most things start with the... Or should I not count the? Because, like, when you categorize books, you don't count the. Yo, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm going to count the, probably, unless it suits my purposes not to. Ooh! Ha! I found one. Eve, a novel of the first woman by Alyssa Elliott. So this one starts with E and ends with E. Ha ha! No, we do excited about that. So next we have mass market paperback. I have a few of these. Hold on. I don't have a ton. I got some that were like gifted. So the first one I saw, which, oh gosh, I missed the ottoman, guys. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Um, this is Aragon by Christopher Pellini. All right. I can't do the ottoman anymore, guys. It's too much. It's too much. Just deal with the creaking chair. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, but if you if you missed what I said, so this is one of the, like, oldest ones I remember specifically getting for myself because in, like, third or fourth grade, I was obsessed with the Inheritance Cycle, and, like, I actually have it signed. One. No, I, I was, like, really, me and my best friend were, like, obsessed with this series, so this is... That has nothing to do with the challenge. I just thought I'd let you know I used to be obsessed with this series, so I made you a book click on it. At some point. The shelf is too tight. It's too tight, people. I cannot get the books back in. Hello. Number seven. Book by author using a pen name. I should have... Ah, oh, here we go. Series of Unfortunate Events. I also have the... This is the first book. I also have the second book by Lemony Snicket, which is a pen name. Here's that one. I could have also done the Cassandra Clare ones up there, but uh, I didn't feel like it. 
but I have those as well. Book with a character's name in the title. Well, I already did Ella Enchanted, so I'm going to find another one. This one fell off my shelf. It's meant to be. Esperanza Rising has her name. I also have, like, Nancy Drew Mysteries, like, the like a whole collection over on my other bookshelf, but uh, I don't want to go get it, so I have it, though. Oh, I guess Aragon also would have worked for that. Number nine, a book with two maps in it. So while I was looking at Aragon, I was checking to see if I had two maps. It only has one. So hopefully... I have the Lord of the Rings series, so like I feel like that's my next best bet. Ooh, it's a hefty book. Oh my goodness, it got it got like it got smushed. I hate when my I hate when my books get smushed. Shouldn't this have it's Lord of the Rings, it's gotta have maps. Right? It's a 50th anniversary edition. It's gotta have maps. Ooh, that was my next best bet. Not all is lost though, because I have other Tolkien books. Hold on, does Baron and Lufian have one? Wait, wait, wait. Nope, that's just a colorized photo. Okay, I, I I, love fantasy so much, I have to have a book with a map. It's not possible. It's not possible. Does the Hobbit have a map? This one's so little, though. It can't. It might not. Oh, it, it has one map. <gasps> it has two maps. <laughs> Why didn't I check the Hobbit first? Okay, no. Okay, so the first map it has is, like, the one that they use to, like, the one that they use to get to the mountain. It's the, the Desolation of Smaug. Smog. Smaug. How do you say that? Smog. Smaug. No. Okay, so that's the first one. And then the second map is of the Wilderland. Or the Wild... Is it Wilderland or Wilderland? I don't know. But either way, there are two maps. There are token for the win, folks. Go back on the shelf. Be kind to me. Be kind. Okay. Sorry, all my weird accents are coming out in this video. Number 10. A book turned into a TV show. The only one I can think of is like the the shadow hunter series i want to get the whole series down so i can show you all the other youtubers did but like i feel so lazy <laughs> oh gosh i'm gonna do it uh -huh. yeah no so this got turned into a tv series yes the mortal instruments oh no no wait no it was also a movie it, it was also a tv series right i think i think i'm correct I should be correct we're going with it are there any others like because i feel like i feel like that's the one everyone used Play Miz has a BBC miniseries, so it counts. Oh, yo. <laughs> yo, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid, guys. Okay. And the frickin' whole collection of Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes has been made into, like, multiple TV shows. Notably BBC, and then there's also... Oh, there's also the American one. I can't think of it. Like, I think it had a different name. It wasn't just called Sherlock. It was, um... Is it Holmes and Watson? You know what I'm talking about. It's been made into multiple TV shows. Ha. Ooh! Boxed myself in the nose with a book. Lovely. Next one. All right. Book written by someone famous for something else. I know exactly what I'm grabbing for this one. Okay. I have two of Carrie Fisher's memoirs. I have Wishful Drinking and The Princess Diarist. So, if you all don't know, Carrie Fisher is so near and dear to my heart. I love her so, so, so much. So it took me forever to get her memoirs, but I literally love them. I actually think I love Wishful Drinking just a little bit more than Princess Diarist, but they're both really good. And she was obviously famous for being an actress and a screenwriter before she was like an author. like 10 minutes scanning my like big bookshelf back here the very first nancy drew book is called the secret of the old clock i'm a fool <laughs> oh my gosh that was 10 wasted minutes wow number next poetry book i have plenty of these however the one that is within the closest reach shakespeare sonnets which you've seen this precise edition if you watch my valentine's day video love this one it's so pretty it has it has it has pretty paintings yeah, no, I also have, like, lots of other poetry as well. That was just the easiest one to reach, and I didn't have to move. So, I grabbed it. I also have Best Love Poems of the American People. It's in that corner that I'm not grabbing. And I have, like, I'm pretty sure I have, like, a book of Irish poetry as well. Yeah, I have poetry. I'm cultured. Hi. That was stupid. Book with an award on the cover. Well, Ella Enchanted that I showed you earlier had one. Ah! Princess Academy by Shannon Hale has the... Newbury Honor. So, 
This is also a really good book. You should read this one. I'm probably going to do a book look on this one. I kind of have a plan, I just need to reread it. So, number next. So, an author with the same initials as you. Okay, so I'm going to cheat a little bit on this one because technically I have three initials. It's CKL and like no one has three initials ever. So I'm just going to go with CK. I don't have high hopes for this one. <laughs> this may be my first actual fail. Okay, so fortunately all of my books are in alphabetical order by author's last name. So let's see, that's where did my K start? So my K starts here. Donald S. Lisa. Those are all of my Ks. Unless I have, like I might have some hidden in my other, my other shelf. Okay, if I could go with CL, I would use C.S. Lewis, but that would also be cheating. But I'm already kind of cheating, so if all else fails, I have like 18 C.S. Lewis books. But I'm going to real quick look through all my kids' books, because that might, that might work. This might take me a sec. Okay, and this one is, this one isn't ordered by author. <laughs> this one is ordered by color. Because I like to be basic. Yo, I might not succeed. Yo, Nancy Drew is coming in clutch. It's written by Carolyn Keene. CK. Ah! So this one, I, I didn't want to pull the exact same book. And since I have multiples, I just pulled number two, which is The Hidden Staircase. So I guess the point of this video is I need to, I need to reread Nancy Drew because apparently she is doing it for me. Next one. All right, book with a story about villain. Loki, Where Mischief Lies by Mackenzie Lee. So, as you can tell by the bookmark, I haven't actually finished this one. <laughs> I took a break because I was studying for a GRE and I hadn't, I haven't picked it back up yet, so. Oh, this one also has deckled edges. I forgot about that. But it was good from the, from the 41 pages I read. <sighs> okay, this is the one that I am going to hate. <laughs> so this one is book between... 500 and 510 pages long. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna look over here first and see what happens. Okay. Agatha Christie, are you gonna come in clutch? No. She too big. No, oh, Jane Eyre, coming in clutch. Yes. Okay, okay. So, Jane Eyre is 507 pages long. Now, there are like the blank pages at the back, but since they are not numbered, they do not count. And even then, hold on, might that be, well, it would go over slightly because there's like four of them, but they don't count because they're not numbered. So I found one. <laughs> I found one in 30 seconds. I am so stupid lucky. Everyone else spent like 20 minutes looking. Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. <laughs> Thank you, Jane Eyre. Thank you, Charlotte Bronte. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was so worried that was going to take me like forever. I have so many books that are around that length. I was worried I was going to spend forever. Oh my gosh. Okay. Book turned into a movie. I have multiples that have been turned into movies. Well, I already pulled Hobbit, but I technically did not pull Lord of the Rings. So there's three movies right there. I already pulled Aragon, but uh, that movie should not exist, so I'm not pulling it for that. Okay, um, I have, I have the entire Chronicles of Narnia series. It is very old, as you can tell. This is the one my mom had when she was a kid. So they are very beat up, but I still love them. So the first four have been made into movies at some point. They were all BBC, and then of course Disney made the first three. But yeah, so there's even more. I have plenty more that have also been made into movies, but that's just a few. Ooh, we're almost done. Okay, graphic novels. You know, I used to have a couple. I don't know if I have any anymore. Unless I have some on my kids' shelf. Hold on. Wait, I just remembered. I do have one. I should have one. Hold on. I don't know. B and F? Hold on. I should have one. I went to Germany at the end of the year. Dude, I know I have it. Unless I had it, like, out of order, which that would be very unlikely. Okay, guys, I am so lost. I do not know where this book went. Like, I... I'm really concerned because, okay, I went to Germany like over Christmas break and we went to Dachau. I got a graphic novel version of the Diary of Anne Frank in German, which I thought was super cool and because I'm learning German so I wanted to be able to like convince myself to like read more of it. I see like all of the other books I got on that trip. I don't know where, I don't know where that one is. Where is it? Like I'm seriously concerned guys. I really hope I didn't lose it, but that is a graphic novel. 
So I do own it. I do own it. I bought it. I remember buying it. I'm losing my mind. Oh my gosh. It's my book. Okay, I will find it. I, I do own it, I swear. <laughs> I'm not making it up. I do own it. All right. Book written by two or more authors. So I have a few. I don't just want to pull straight from my children's books because that also kind of feels like cheating, but like I have like six children's books over my like my rainbow shelf that have like multiple authors. But I want to see like, okay, I have a shorthand manual that is written by multiple people, but that's like, I don't, I also don't want to pull textbooks. So, or things like that. Cause that also kind of feels like cheating because most most of those are written by more than one person. I, I, I mean, I'm kind of like limiting myself, but at the same time, like that feels like it's cheating otherwise. Pull my DSM-5. <laughs> like, oh, my DSM is written by two or more people. Okay, no, um, that wasn't even a joke. Okay, I have Harry Potter, The Cursed Child. But this is written by John, Tiffany, and Jack Thorne. Despite the fact that J.K. Rowling's name on it, she did not in fact write it. She just kind of helped with the idea. So it's technically two or more authors. So we're gonna say I, I mean, I have honestly plenty that are written by, oh my gosh, no. So that was actually technically the last one. But Jesse the Reader gave a bonus question. He gave a question about if I have a book with white font, which honestly a lot of them have white font. Like the first one I see is a devotional and I already pulled one devotional so I don't want to pull like a second devotional just because I don't. <laughs> okay, oh, this is the first one I see. It's Till We Have Faces by C.S. Lewis, which this one actually, so there's white on the, like on the side, but then like on, on the actual book, it has like the name in really small font, like in the corner in the stained glass. So I don't know, maybe that one doesn't count because it's not all white font. Maybe that's what he... Maybe that's what he meant, like all white font. So, okay, okay. No, that one's kind of blue. My Doctor Who books are white and blue. White and blue. All right, uh, the book thief has the title in white font, but then the author's name is in red font, so I don't know if that one counts. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All white. Book of a Thousand Days by Shannon Hale. So that one is all white font. I mean, I guess technically it's textured, so it has some gray in there, but white is the base, so we're gonna count it. We have a list. Awesome. Okay, so I feel like since Jesse did a bonus question, I wanna do a bonus question, so that's a good bonus question. A book you bought solely because of the cover. That's right, we're getting serious here, folks. Okay. Because there's a lot I've gotten from the library solely because of the cover. But there's not a lot that I own that are solely because of the cover. So now the exception would be children's books because I do tend to get children's books more based on their artwork. But that would kind of be defeating the purpose of my own question. This one. I got The Secret Garden solely because of the cover. Because I already, like, I had a version of The Secret Garden that was like, I had like one of those um, condensed like children's versions. I don't know if I still have it even. I might. No, but I had that condensed one and I wanted a real one. And this one was so pretty. I literally couldn't help myself. I just, I looked at it. I was like, I need that right now. Because I am a sucker for pretty books. Actually, I probably could have shown you, like, <laughs> I probably could have shown you most of my, like, bound pretty books. I also got my works of Edgar Allan Poe because the cover was pretty. I mean, I also didn't own any Edgar Allan Poe at that point but like I was drawn to it because of the cover. So, so basically what you're learning is I don't tend to get like, if I'm drawn to it because of the cover, it's because it's pretty and gilded and bound rather than artwork, unless it's children's book. And then like, it's all artwork. It's all about the artwork when it comes to my children's books. Yeah, that is my bonus question for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below, but that is pretty much it. That was actually a lot of fun. It didn't take nearly as long as I thought, so that's cool. I was expecting the page number one to be the one that took the longest, but I think it was, which one actually took the longest? It was either finding a book with a map or finding a book with the clock on the cover. Those were the two that seemed to take the longest for me. So anyway, if you want to do this challenge, feel free. I think it's a load of fun. That's pretty much it. So I hope you all have an amazing, beautiful, wonderful day that is filled with joy and laughter and really good books. Thank you all so very much. I love you so much. Goodbye!